Family of a Luzerne County man who was found dead on an area road wants answers and justice in his death. Police investigators say 30 year old Nahayam Beals was found in the borough of Pringle and it appears he may have been the victim of an assault. 2822 Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik working the story. Andy joins us live in the studio with the latest on the case. Andy. Good evening Nick and Candace. The Beals family tells me they cannot grieve their loss until they get answers. And at this point answers are hard to come by. There might have been an altercation at a bar, um, but the details surrounding that is so is so vague. We don't even understand what happened. Teresham and Shade Beals just want to know how and why their nephew Naheem Beals died. Police say his body was found near Evans Street in Pringle in the early morning hours of February 11th. He was naked from the waist down, and according to a search warrant affidavit, he had injuries that were consistent with an assault. It's really hard to process it and it's really hard to grieve because I don't know yet. So it's like, I, I'm just still open. I, I don't know really how to feel. I don't even think I'm really like processing it yet because it's just, I, I want to know what happened. Six days after his body was found, police searched the home in the borough of Luzerne as well as a white car. According to detectives, Beals was seen riding in the car the night he died. According to court documents, Police obtained video that shows Beals and other individuals entering an Edwardsville bar, then leaving the bar and driving away in that white car. That same search warrant indicates that another video was secured that allegedly shows Beals leaving a club in Lackawanna County with several individuals and driving away in that white car. Search warrant affidavits say someone driving on the North Cross Valley Expressway that same night reported to police a white car that matched the description stopped by the Kingston exit. They say it appeared somebody was being assaulted. Was there any reason to believe that somebody would want to hurt your nephew? Um, not that we're aware of. Um, like I said, we've, we heard that there might have been an altercation. We don't know what led up to the altercation. They say their nephew deserves justice. He was goofy. He was real goofy. Um, he loved his boys. He was really into sports. He loved basketball. And he was really like into his like music. Like, you know, he wanted to get into the music industry. So he was really into that. Now, the county coroner tells me that the cause and manner of death have not been determined pending further investigation. Kingston police say that investigation is moving forward. Nick and Candace. All right, Andy, thank you.